Welcome to our brief chat. Today with me is Eric Searle, uh, Lakehead University. And uh, your stuff uh, focuses on? So I'm uh, doing my PhD in natural resource management with a focus on forestry. Um, and I'm examining how climate change is affecting boreal forest ecosystem functioning. And please tell me a little bit in detail about your work. Sure, so a lot of people when they think about climate change, um, they jump right to global warming, um, increasing temperature. Um, some people think about uh, changes in uh, precipitation, but uh, rarely uh, do most people think about how that's actually going to affect uh, the trees. Um, if you're from um, more northern areas um, or if you're environmentally conscious, um, you might be um, interested in the ongoing litigation over the uh, caribou ranges. Um, but very often, um, how climate change is going to actually affect the forest is overlooked in the public discourse. But climate change obviously is going to have a major um, impact on our forests going forward. And what we found primarily is that um, climate change is going to help some trees grow. But the downside is that it's going to cause more trees uh, to die than um, uh, in the past. So you actually get this trade off where those trees that survive do better, um, but more trees are dying um, than previously. And, and it, what it means is that we just have fewer trees on the landscape than we did in the past. Wow, it's really interesting. And uh, how this, uh, the work you are doing, will impact the lives of the people in Ontario? Right, so it's got two major implications. Um, the first, for those who aren't uh, involved in the forest industry in Ontario, um, my work um, provides a, a basis for how much carbon is stored in the forests um, and how that carbon may change, right. right? So moving forward, when you start talking about carbon taxes or something like cap and trade, cap and trade requires um, you know, a, a carbon credit to be traded, right? And in order for a carbon credit to be traded, you need to know how much carbon is actually on the landscape. Um, so my research helps to inform um, model projections, um, looking at how much carbon is going to be on the landscape eventually, so we can more um, accurately and efficiently trade it. The second major um, implication of my research is for those in the forest industry, which is still a major driver of Ontario's economy, especially um, north um, in the area of the undertaking, north of Perry Sound. What we found is actually a lot of economically important species. So you think of uh, the classic three are spruce, pine, fir. Um, spruce and fir are actually really, really heavily hit by climate change. Um, they're dying much quicker than uh, the pine or even the aspen. Um, and this has major implications because that means we have this sort of, we're, we're fighting an uphill battle, even though we're planting spruce, they're not living as long, they're not growing as quickly as they did in the past. So we end up with um, slower um, harvest times, um, which means more dead money just sitting out in the forest, right? Um, and we have this increase in undesirable species, things like aspen, which a lot of foresters think of as, as a weed, right? Just like in your garden, you see a dandelion. Um, for a lot of foresters, if they see a poplar, you know, that's a weed. Um, but they tend to actually do okay. Um, in uh, in Ontario especially. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much.